Are you ready? How are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Kuhl says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. Let's go! <gasps> Well, the bridges are burnt now. <laughs> Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. That's some noise! What's that, huh? Ah, shaitan! Stupid bats! Yeah... This place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But... Now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady... Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance! Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters, and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost.
Oh, wait! So, the war really did put people back into the Stone Age. Cave, paintings and all. Oh, they toughed it out here for some time. I wish we'd gotten here earlier. Damn! A cave-in! We're in luck though, there's still some space left. People lived here. Everything is built up. Uh, let's try walking around. Ah, oh, damn! Hot! Continue. for two. Now we cross the bridge and head right. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! The passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave-in! My filter's almost done for! Look! Light! Here! Well, the air seems alright. Masks off. Well, it's a crawl from here on. <sighs> Go 
Gil says the locals follow every word the oilmen say. So, let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Turn your torch off, Artyom. It's a dead giveaway. Look, water. See that car? I'll move the air and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, all right? for anything, but this time I just have to demand a different post. She's here!
We finally lost them. Well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <sighs> Looks like they aren't giving chase. Time to get back to the Aurora. Are you tired? For no wonder. All right, brother. Have some rest.
We showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Hmm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with them. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as payment. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Who is right about the locals? Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. 
so we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this shit is here. Great. See you up there. Let's go, Damir. Less blood, Artyom. Please. No use. Nobody go. Nobody fool. We stand here. All day here. You suck. Better go home, find some food, make slave, more use that way. right completely. Very right. Faster, fuck! You work or you go up the door! <laughs> Men I understand. Dog not pity. They don't know what to do. They torture dog and laugh. <laughs> This is Shaitan. Is him there? This good place. You murder them. No trouble. I stay here forever. We warrior. I won't kill him. We won't go. I work here. Thank you. 
is full. Just what we need. Uh, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away, such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Point that gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Open the gate and let our guests in! You. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we're, we're as good as dead. What the fuck are you saying? Good luck, Artyom. If Artyom, I fucking hear, why do you know about out, that no? bitch girl? Well, I'll do what they get do. Get over here. To talk with them about. Go around them stinkers and just get no, to the next floor. Oh, why the fuck does it take so long? Ha! You must be one of the just you take a fucking look at the beauty of it. You fucking blind the Well, Why you just fucking pull it? You put your back into it. Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? I'm sorry, master. I'm your slave. Was not on purpose. Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now! Look, you go up that ladder. Past the headquarters, then past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. Come on! What's taking so long? Come on, oh, you I don't know if I can speak this anymore. Make it so Just you fucking look at that. The whole drink master's water. Go give her a lesson. Forgive me, Uli Mirsa. I You're a dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! The water is for people! Ah! For the master! Come on, up the ladder with you. It's one of those new arrivals. Come to leave the boss here. Yeah. What's the holdup? Hey! You barely move! Yeah, come on! Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time! Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your weapon. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird that I'm not really bothered by your little... Mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, 
You can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now, your has come for you. You will answer for everything. He walked it from the other side. That coward. Do you think I'm a fool? You didn't want to see it. Now you will all die. Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Artyom, get ready. We must kill these dogs! out here, didn't you? Whoa! Oh, impressive! So, this is the plan Gyul was talking about. Artyom! So, you wanted to create a new world with this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! Oh! 
I got her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster. The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> 